Good morning, everyone. Yeah, I know I haven't been on a while, but I'm here right now. And um, I want to talk about faith and repentance and how they go in together like this. If you have faith in the good Lord and a repentant heart, God will give you the tools to repent. He will give you the tools to repent. Big and small. Sin is sin, right? But if you're doing something repeatedly over and over and you want the strength to break free from something, it could be addiction, something that's holding you back. Christ Jesus himself died for our sins and he gave us the Holy Spirit that lives within us that will steer us in the right direction and mindset to want to break to want to break free of what's keeping us in bondage but you have to have faith faith in the good lord that he is going to break you free from that sin sin is something that's holding you in captivity and it isn't pleasing to the Lord. He will give you the tools to break free. Because he loves you and I so much. That he will give us the tools to set us free. Isn't that awesome to know that we no longer have to be in bondage to something. Something that's keeping a tight grip on us keeping us in a prison mindset or thinking or whatever we're trying to do that isn't pleasing to God. God wants us to be pleasing to him. He wants us to have a fulfilling, wholesome life. And he gives us the tools to do so. I just wanted to share that with you because I know there's a lot of hurting people in the world, and I know part of the reason is that they are stuck because they're in sin. They're in bondage of some sort. They need answers. They need a encouraging word telling them that they can do it with faith and obedient heart. You can break free from that sin. You can break free from the prison within yourself. With the Holy Spirit living within you, he will give you the tools and the know-how to break it once and for all. Isn't that an awesome feeling to know that there is freedom in sin? Whether it be addiction, there's so many addictions. Whatever it is, there is freedom and breaking. God is here for you and I. He loves you and he wants you to know at any given time when you are ready to repent, you have to have faith to do so. And he is there to help you. He knows that you cannot do this on your own. We don't have the strength and the willpower to break these sinful addictions. We just don't. And this is why we keep doing them repeatedly over and over this is why we say things and do things and act a certain way because if we could break them ourselves we would have a long time ago good morning husband i love you hi, good hi. come say hi hon okay i'm gonna end this video soon but i'm talking about uh repentance of sin here i'm talking about repentance of sin and addiction yeah so this is david and, Hi, everyone. Um, yeah. And I know I haven't been on doing these videos lately. It's been really crazy at work. We just finished Chinese New Year's. And we just finished the Super Bowl. But God loves you. So do we. And if he could break our addictions, we were addicted to each other so bad in our first marriage. That God had to separate us because we just couldn't get it right. 
but look at us now. Right, honey? Yeah. He's the answer, isn't he? Yeah. He'll help, he'll help his people that have issues with sin and addiction, son. Yes, he will. It, it just takes time. Mm -hmm. It takes belief. It takes a repentant heart. And it takes time and the know-how. Who to trust? Who can you trust? more than yourself to help you with sin and addiction. The Holy Spirit that lives within us, he gives us the tools and the answers, right? Love you. Talk to you soon. Bye.